When we think of hurricanes or cyclones, we automatically think of the tropics. But powerful winds could threaten both UK and Europe with the potentially destructive force of a tropical category 4 hurricane. And that's all because of global warming. Now, why is this happening? Well, there have been large-scale changes in the atmosphere itself. For example, the boundary of the troposphere where all the weather occurs, that's the tropopause, has moved higher by 900 feet. Also, the Hadley cells, the circulation pattern that's rising near the equator, polewards motion in higher up and then descending, dropping down around the subtropics. These have expanded towards the poles by one degree of latitude or 60 nautical miles over the last 30 years. That change represents a huge volumetric increase in stored heat energy, which must be recycled to the poles one way or other. It's as if the extratropic cyclones are sort of part of the planet's way of redistributing this energy. Last summer, the Global Warming Alliance held a conference at the Institute of Physics in London because our research has shown an increase in the total energy of tropical cyclones of 70%, while wind strength itself has increased by 15%. Such an increase in velocity plays out as a doubling in aeronautical force and even more in destructive damage. The deadly storms that pounded southwest France, northeast Spain this past weekend took at least 12 lives. Now, should these winds hit, or should, should they have hit a more densely populated area, or should they hit a city, and particularly one which is not accustomed to dealing with these sort of cyclones, those numbers could be vastly increased. Over the past 10 years, 18 ETCs have made landfall. We're also seeing typhoon twins, or two storms, one following another within a day or so. For example, the geographical position where polar air masses meet tropical ones coming up from the equator makes it in particular a fertile breeding ground for tornadoes. During the half century, from 1948 to 1997, 13 windstorms hit Europe, which was an average of one every 3.8 years. The two most catastrophic in terms of human life, the storms of 1953 and 1962, had almost identical core pressures. But now we are getting tropical, extratropic cyclones with pressures 12 millibars lower than that. I'm Louise Burfitt-Dons. This is the Global Warming Hotspot for the Global Warming Alliance.